Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf here at the Second Swing Tour Van at Minnetonka, joined by Mr. Tyler Fitzel here, Master Club Fitter, to discuss the new TaylorMade Burner Mini Copper Driver. Yeah, uh, this is a uh, it's very cool to look at. Look at that. Um, yep. So we got the copper finish and sort of the old school aesthetics, but Tyler, I think also the the main thing we need to talk about too is the performance. Yeah. And sort of the kind of the novelty of this club and what it can achieve for golfers out there. Yeah, well, let's get past the novelty real quick. Um, th this is a club that's designed for someone looking kind of in between. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of clubs that are in between. We're looking for something that's maybe not quite the driver size, Yeah. Um, but we're also not looking for something that's just more like a traditional three wood yeah. to it. And this really fits in between. Now, we take this back, this reminds me of my high school days because yeah. this literally the burner driver came out in like 1995 and this is exactly the same sorts of color i know they're not um perfectly matched but so so incredibly matched the 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 logo yeah. The, yeah. the unique design in terms of the ca the case hole on the mm -hmm. bottom which was on the original driver going back to the uh the shaft and even the grip th this has got an original golf pride victory um, grip, which is very, very reminiscent of what we found in mm -hmm. the 90s, uh, 80s, 90s, and 2000s yep. as well. So, uh, yeah, not not just a uh, a niche club, but actually might be a very, very good club for all of our golfers. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of there's a you know great use for that in, in many ways. It could be a tee club, could be off the deck club. Um, and there's technologies packed in there that TaylorMade has been successful with over the last several years. You got Twist Face. Um, you've got the through slot speed pocket there. You mentioned the K sole for smooth yep. turf interaction. Um, they've got all kinds of materials in there, carbon fiber, titanium, steel, sort of a multi-material design. Yep. Um, so there's a lot packed in there. Plus you got adjustability of both the, the sole weights and right. the hosel. Yeah, and and this is where fitting has come. Yeah. We're at a point where adjustability is is for the customer. Mm -hmm. um, yes, there is the opportunity if you're hitting, you know, if you wanted to adjust that on a day by day basis with it. But really, this helps to fine tune something. And we talk about, well, how can I get a, a good fit in a club that goes forward? And for that, it's the adjustability. It's like, I see a pattern developing. Oh, I'm a little right. I'm a little left. I'm a little high. I'm a little low. If, if we see patterns like that, we have that adjustability, which of course uh, is in just about every yep. single club these days. Yep, exactly. So what we're gonna do today, do a little bit of testing, kind of get some feedback on how that thing performs, how it feels maybe. Um, and then we'll kind of wrap it up in the final thoughts. Awesome. So let's get after it. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so Tyler, mini, wait, is it burner mini copper? There we go. Uh, what's that? So put it down in the dress and tell me, you know, does it inspire confidence? What's it all look like to you? Yeah, what I really like about it is the shape. If we go back to the, the 1990s and we start looking at the originals where they're kind of modeling this after, um, the size of the heads back then were even smaller, right? This is about 300 yeah. cc's, mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty common with today's um, equipment, uh, but much bigger actually even than the originals. Yeah. And so right away you set it down and it's got this nice rounded, slightly pear shaped, um, uh, and it's got, it's with the, the look overall, it's got this nice um, thin layer. Yeah. Of, the of, kind of, the uh, the kind of the copper edge. that offsets this this nice black, this carbon fiber that they've got with the old school logo. And so alignment is really nice. The shapes, it sits really nice and square. Yeah, of good. course you can move that with the adjustment. Yeah. But you know, if you're someone that likes it to sit open or closed, you're in luck. If we're talking about its shape, set it down. Very classic. Very good. It looks like a, it, it it's bigger than a three wood, but it inspires confidence for control. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So yeah, this is the 11 and a half is the sta I mean, standard loft here, but there is the option of 13 and a half standard loft as well. So yeah. Um, and then, as you mentioned, we talked about the Pro 465 shaft. This is a stiff flex one for the one we have to test today. Um, let's do some golf shots here, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Very light, very nice. Look at that penetrating ball flight there. Yeah, I do. I do tend to like. I tend to like that as a as a ball flight there. Sure. I, I do tend to to have something a little bit lower. And again, if I felt like I needed something more than this, I could turn it up. Oh too. right, that's that's the nice thing about the yeah. adjustability. You can move the weights around. You can hosel all that stuff.
There we go. A little bit higher on that one, but yeah, got it up to 255 total. Re and really good numbers. Like you, you were looking at at club speed and ball speed, right? About 95 miles an hour. This yeah. isn't a driver, so that's pretty accurate for where I'm at. You know, adding a little bit more length to this. Yeah, right. I'm I'm swinging around 100 miles an hour. Okay. Yeah, so that that fits right in there. Yeah, but you look at launch. Um, you look at launch and spin, and then over to carry, and we're looking like 225 carry. Really nice, yeah. right? And it's not driver, but that's nice. Yeah. And then and then out to 255. No complaints? Not at all. <laughs> no. And it feels solid. This, yeah. It's not. It seems like it's a bit higher pitched sound. A kind of like. Yeah. It's. I wouldn't say brash, but it's just a little bit higher pitched. Well, and and so kind of again, driver. they have the ZA faces. They're talking about the different titanium along with twist face. Yeah. Help helping in terms of a little bit of the miss hit. Yep. Um, it it is really nice and solid. So it's not loud, it's subtle, but it's yeah. also, um, it's got that metal feel to it as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now this could be a gamer. <laughs> this is, might throw it in the bag, huh? This could be a gamer. Yeah. Well, I mean, one thing that we talk about all the time, game management, right? Um, so I want to hit a fairway. Well, hitting something less than a driver doesn't yeah. mean fairway. It just means less distance. Mm -hmm. So it's always this idea, if I don't quite have the control with that driver, what am I going to do? And this, so this really kind of puts both yep. in play. I'm not looking for 270 yards out of it myself. You know, some have that swing speed to create yep. that. I completely understand. Yeah, I know uh, Mr. Kraft played the last year's Burner Mini because yeah. he was that player who... There is some holes he walks up to and he just can't quite pull driver. He's yeah. not confident enough, so he grabs this and just swings away. Wow. I think we've seen all we need to see off the team I mean, at least. Yeah. This is good. Exactly. Sign me up. Yeah. Um, one of the things I think is really interesting about this though, you know, we start talking about the sole design. It's yeah. got the K design. This is designed for turf as yeah. well. And you know, when we talk about a driver, the thing about a driver is that it's not designed on the sole for turf interaction. Right. It's aerodynamics. This is, has to do a little bit of both. Yep. So let's see what it does off the yeah. turf. Yeah, a little oh, yeah. cut. So that's, and so when you, I mean, this is a club. It's not the way it's designed. You're not going to probably launch it super high and get it over 100 feet in the air. You know, that's not happening with this club. I, yeah, I, well, I suppose it's, it is player dependent. I suppose. I, enough, I'm not, enough, I know I'm not gonna. Enough club speed could probably do it, I yeah. suppose. But I mean, it, it, it is, it's a larger head. Center of gravity is a bit higher because of that. So let's take a look at some numbers here. So we've got five shots up here. We've got, this last one was off the deck and then we hit, or hit four of these off the tee. Um, really good here. I mean, I'm gonna kind of uncheck this for the sake of averages. So this is this is your averages off the tee here. You're hitting the ball 255, yeah, a little over 2,000 spin. Um, pretty good numbers here off the tee for sure. And it is in re and relatively straight, so I don't have a whole lot of dispersion to this. No, you not can at see all. that I'm still kind of in the 15 to 15 on either side. Those of, are four fairways hit. Yeah, and um, I expect my driver out around 260 to 70 in terms of the way I hit it. The major the major difference for this is carry distance. Yeah, right. This this is. You know, carry distance is out around 200 and uh, 220 right here. 220. Yeah. Versus my driver's probably carrying about 240. Yeah. And so that's one of the things that you're going to see in terms of uh, the differences between a club like this versus a driver is you'll tend to see more, uh, longer club, faster ball speeds. You see more carry distance. Yeah. So there's optimizing this just as there would be oh, yeah. optimization in a driver too. Yeah. And then also you can take note of how, how you're going to use it more often on the course. Say you do hit it off the tee more. That's how you can build it for maybe lower loft. Um, yeah. And then we can, you know, we can talk about this shot up here that we had off the deck, right? Um, and you're able to get that one kind of going in the air a little bit. Here's kind of our, our tracer. Had that cut, obviously. Yeah. Um, and this is going to be, you know, you had more spin, didn't quite swing it as fast, but you're going to have more spin off the off the deck most of the time, hitting it a little bit kind of steeper attack angle. Right. Which is very typical. So, but you're going to still use this. It's almost got a different use to it because that. Distance drops a little bit more, which it probably will most of the time, but it can almost be like you got a two wood in the bag and say a three wood or, or a three and a half wood, both exactly. in the bag when you hit one off the tee and off the turf. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, you know, I go back in time and I, I love to hit a three wood that was more around 13, maybe even 12 mm. degrees. Yeah. I'd like to play something that is like that. And it was more about game management. Um, now I'm getting the distances I need out of the equipment I've got. Right. I'd say better equipment, but really a better fitting. Yeah. And when I'm looking at uh, what this can do on both sides of it, this is so versatile. Oh, I yeah. really like that. Um, there's, there's weight adjustability. I prefer to have the weight up front. The heavier that, weight? Yeah, that, this is a, what, a 13 gram weight versus a one and a half yeah. gram weight. I prefer to have that trajectory and that ball speed. Um, anytime I'm looking at trying to gain some ball speed, I look at where the weight is. Mo so Moving it forward? Yeah, if I can move it forward, that puts a little bit more mass behind that ball. Now, that generally, not always, lowers loft and spin. So what happens is all of a sudden I get a more penetrating flight, but I get more ball speed out yeah. of it. Right. So for me, I mean, the, the amount of carry distance is not my, my be all end all. This is about finding fairways. Yeah. And I, I'm looking at ball speeds at, at around that 140 mark. Yeah. With, with not, it's not a driver per se, it's the mini burner um, too. And yep. it's the idea of getting something that's, that's in between there. For sure, yeah. Well, great testing here. I think the burner, I mean, this is a this is a club I think is gaining popularity and just the use of it with players. It hasn't yeah. been something a lot of people use, but I think yeah, they're seeing the benefits of it. So we can. Uh, well, we've seen to, you know we've seen companies. PXG's got a mini. Yeah. Titleist uh, tour only. People yeah. don't please don't ask. Um, <laughs> right. I, you know, Titleist has a tour only two wood, um, much like this. Um, the uh, the other companies out there have have done stuff. Uh, we've seen Callaway's done one in the Callaway. past with like Phil. Even even right now. Um, Ping has their LST three wood, which is much more geared around the distance, uh, and off the fairway tees. finder distance, off the tee for spin control. It, it's nowhere near the size of this. And even Titleist for that matter has their T TSR two, two plus, plus yep. which is a little bit bigger style. Again, not quite as big as this, but you know, this right here, uh, this, this might be very useful. Yeah. Very, very useful for uh, a lot of golfers out there. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's wrap it up here with our final thoughts segment and then uh, golfers can leave their own thoughts in the comments. Awesome. All right. So Tyler testing complete there of the TaylorMade burner mini copper driver. Yeah. Um, really good stuff up there. And we didn't hit, you know, a gigantic number of shots, but I no. think right away you got a good feel for how this thing is going to perform. Yeah. And, and the, what what is this uh, club really meant for? Yeah, it, it, it's it's yes, part of it is a niche. Yeah, but the reality is that in fittings, we have people that come in and say, "I just do not hit my driver all that well. I hit my three wood even better." Well, the reality is that the three wood is played a slight bit different with it. It could be attack angles. It could yeah. be the length of the club. Um, it could be uh, that there's maybe a little too much loft on the three wood. Mm -hmm. We maybe need a little bit less. So uh, this, is, this has the case old design, which is designed for turf interaction as well. Yep. And that's one of the reasons I think that this, this, I've sold several of these types of drivers in the past yeah. in a fitting. And what works really well is you get, you get really good contact, good ball speed. Yeah. You, have, you have slightly uh, straighter um, uh, ball flight to it. Um, and we're still getting the type of ball speed so that we can see some of, some of the gains with it. Right. right? And as soon as you, you add that control factor or direction, to ball speed, launch, and spin in a fitting. So that's that's the home run. There's yeah. the, there's our four things that right. we look at with the ball anyway. Yeah, there's there's clearly a lot of different uses for it. It might be someone that's not confident with their driver, have another option, something that's going to get out there plenty far. Someone that might need uh, a club that kind of works with like a three wood off off the t off the deck, and they can use it off the tee. There's like you said, there's all these uses. Um, it's also got the really cool aesthetics to it. You it know, does. the old school look. You kind of marveled at that right away. Old yep. school logo, the copper. And then obviously the head cover to boot here. Um, I mean, totally kind of fantastic. Looks, it looks like it's out of the 1990s. Now, one of the things they did with it was always unique. Back in the day, this wasn't a feature, design feature back in the day. It just so happened that on the inside of it, they used kind of a different off color. Yeah. And so people kind of reversed the uh, head cover. Mm -hmm. And TaylorMade has done that again. They actually have the kind of old school fluff design on the inside yeah. that makes it uh, kind of the retro look. We see a lot of head covers from That's back awesome. in the day like this. Uh, but it's an, uh, it's still, they, they've even paid attention to the inside of the head cover, I which know. means that the really detail trying, is there. Yeah, they're trying to do this some real justice with it. Yeah. So absolutely, I, I, I think this is gonna be a, a really, really interesting club. You know, and if you're, if, if the type of golfer that is really 
maybe you are really super struggling with something it, at that longer side of it. Yeah. This is worth testing yeah. for sure. You know, and we have fittings uh, nearly every single day. You need to go online um, at mm -hmm. secondswing.com and, and book your fitting. You know, our fittings are, are in full gear right now. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna have these in our bays and yep. we're gonna be able to do some testing with it, whether it's shafts or lofts. Yeah, exactly. There's so many options here um, with just this one model and you know, the tech and the performance is obviously fantastic. So Tyler, yeah. thank you for joining um, awesome. and, and providing your insight and testing. This was fantastic. Again, yeah. this is gonna be a winner this year, I think. Oh, totally, thank you.